Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Healing Brush Tool in Adobe Photoshop. Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial on the Healing Brush Tool in Adobe Photoshop. The Healing Brush Tool is an essential tool for retouching images and it allows you to remove a blemishes, scars and other unwanted details from your photos. Now friends, one of the most benefit of the Healing Brush Tool is that it preserves the texture and shading of the original image, making it ideal for retouching skin or other complex textures. It is important to note that using the Healing Brush Tool requires a certain amount of skill as overuse can result in an unnatural looking image. Therefore, it is recommended to use it carefully. So friends, Let's start with the image of a person with a small blemish on their face. We can use the healing brush tool to remove this blemish. So we have an image of a person with a small blemish on their face over here. Now friends to select the healing brush tool go to the toolbar on the left hand side of the screen over here and you can see this a bandage icon. Alternatively you can also use a keyboard shortcut J to activate this tool or you can also use shift plus J to switch from one tool to another in this category. So like this you can switch from one tool to another. So right now I am just selecting this healing brush tool. Now friends before using the healing brush tool you need to set up the brush. Now click the brush preset picker in the option bar to choose the size and hardness of the brush. So you can select a brush preset from here. Okay, the size of the brush should be slightly larger than the blemish you want to remove and the hardness should be set to zero to make the edge of this brush soft. So right now I make it hardness to zero and my brush size should be little bit larger than the, my blemish size. So this will be fine. Now friends, we need to select a sample point for the healing brush tool. Now hold down the ALT key as you can see once I select the ALT key and click on an area of the image that is close to the blemish but doesn't have any imperfections. This will be sample point that the healing brush tool used to replace the blemish. So first of all I am selecting this area so this area getting this information and apply to this blemish as you can see once I moving my mouse pointer on this blemish and it will be getting over. Now that we have our sample point we can start removing the blemish. Now click and drag the brush over this blemish area like this and as you can see boom our work is done. You can release the alt key and continue to brush over the blemish until it completely removed and there you have it. The blemish is now removed and the image looks much better. So this is our before image and after using this healing brush tool our images look like this. Like this. See just use alt key to getting the pixel information around this blemish area and now this information is applied to this blemish and your work is done. Like this you can remove this other blemish part. See here also. So the blemish is now removed and your image looks much better than before. So friends now we are going to see these options over here. So first of all I am taking this footage and now we are going to apply our healing brush tool to remove this lamp from this footage. So first of all I am showing you this mode. Okay, The mode option gives the different option of brush with which we can work. So as you can see in mode you can see a normal mode, replace mode, multiply mode, screen mode, darken mode, lighten mode, color and luminosity mode. So according to your requirement you can change your mode. Now friends beside this you can see a source. This will tell us that two options from where we can pick our source for healing our destination. First is sampled and second is pattern. So friends in this first option we pick our source from the image by placing our brush over the place which we want to pick and pressing the alt key from the keyboard as we already see in our this example. 
in this example we see that sample source okay and now what is a color source so friends in the second option a pattern dialog box appears from where we choose our pattern and patch the destination with the pattern for example first i am using this sample and using this healing brush tool now i am just increase the size of this brush okay i am getting this area alt key by pressing the alt key you can get this area and now i am just remove my alt key and start dragging on this area so as you can see that pixel is getting apply on this area but as i already told you that overuse can result in an unnatural looking image therefore it is recommended to use it carefully so friends our next option is pattern just select this pattern and from here you can select a different different pattern for example i am selecting this pattern and now you can apply this pattern on this image like this so this is a second source now friends beside this you can see a sample option okay so what is a sample option inside this option you can see a three category current layer current below layer and all layer okay. now current layer means the layer we are working on right now current and below means the current layer and below this one more layer and all layer means all layer inside this panel so friends the sample options let the brush know which layer to sample the pixels from for blending there are a option in a sample current layer current and below and all layers so friends beside this you can see one more option which is call turn on the ignore adjustment layer while healing so friends if this option is turn on then the tool ignores the adjustment layer while sampling the pixel okay beside this you can see use pressure control now this option is valid only when using a graphic pen tablet to control the brush size and flow so whenever you using a graphic tablet then only you can require this option now beside this you can see a diffusion this option determines the amount of blend that would happen by default the diffusion is given to 1 it has to range value from 1 to 7 so you can change your value from here like this so friends like this you can remove a many unwanted part from your footages for example in this footage i want to remove this clock so simply i am selecting my healing brush tool and now i want to increase the size of this brush so you can use a bracket to shortcut increase and decrease or else you can also go to this brush preset and from here you can increase or decrease the size of the brush but make sure your size of the brush is little bit larger than the object you want to remove so i want to remove this object so my brush size should be little bit of larger than this pot so i am just press alt key from my keyboard okay like this but before that you need make sure your so source will be sampled so for that i am go to source and selecting this sample so that i can apply a sample on a particular object so i am just selecting the sample pixel from here okay and now whenever i am dragging my brush over this footage and as you can see this brush is getting remove this part like this okay so it is not getting much better so we try to remove it in better way so first of all i am changing my brush from here okay i am increase the hardness and diffusion should be 2 okay selecting this part see still we can do it better you just need to play with the diffusion as well as brush i am increase the hardness i am selecting this part and boom see within a one click we remove this part so this is all about the value you need to work on the values and you will get a perfect value and remove the part so i am just selecting this part and once you select here and it will be removed like this 
see so friends this is all about a healing brush tool in adobe photoshop so friends the healing brush tool is a powerful tool in adobe photoshop that can be used to remove blemishes scars and other unwanted details from your images by following these simple steps you can easily retouch your images and create stunning visuals thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial thank you so much guys